I've been making a series of videos about one of my 3D printers. I pretty much just printed some custom parts in cool colors, rebuilt it step by step, and then connected it to Octoprint so I didn't need to find SD cards whenever I needed to print something. I made a video about setting up Octoprint, and after I posted it, I put it on Twitter as well, saying I bought a potato and made it into a server, referring to the device I installed Octoprint on, which is called a Le Potato from Libre Computing, tweeted it into the ether, and an account called Octo Everywhere tweeted me back saying, oh, we would love for you to check out our plugin, which allows for remote management of your 3D printer. This intrigued me, so I went and checked out their website, and they said that you can set this up in under 30 seconds. Being an IT person, I was a little skeptical about this because nothing gets set up in 30 seconds, but I went ahead and tried anyway. I didn't time it with the Ender 3 V2, which I've named Eldritch Blast, but it was pretty quick. The longest part of the process was having to install the Octo Everywhere plugin and wait for the potato to reboot. It's called a potato. It's not very fast. After I was able to do it, I connected to the Octo Everywhere service pretty much instantaneously. After I was done setting it up, I was able to access the 3D printer from the internet using a subdomain on Octo Everywhere's website. I have another 3D printer, which is a Prussia i3 Mark III S Plus Shiny Edition. Today, I'm going to set Octo Everywhere up with that one, but this time I'm going to time it. I've cheated a little bit. I've went ahead and pre-installed the Octo Everywhere plugin from Octoprint, so I didn't have to wait for it to reboot again. But other than that, it's not there yet. It's not in my account. It's going to be set up brand new, and we'll see how quickly I can actually do it. Before I set up Octo Everywhere on my Prussia, I thought I would show you what the end result will look like after I'm done setting it up. So over here, we've got the Octo Everywhere dashboard. And as you can see, there's only one printer listed here because I only have set up one printer so far, Eldritch Blast. There's some options at the bottom, which I'll get to later. But for now, the cool thing is if you click Connect here, it just logs you into your Octoprint instance that you have set up for that printer, including the themes, how you have those colored and whatnot. And if you'll notice the URL up here, it's just a subdomain of octoeverywhere.com. So I'm able to log into it from anywhere I want. After you install the Octo Everywhere plugin from Octoprint, this is what pops up in the interface. You get a little notification saying you're less than one minute away from free and secure access to your Octoprint from anywhere. And there's a single button to click to complete that setup. So back on the dashboard, there's a button that says add a printer, which is the one that I'm going to click. And I've got my iPhone here with the timer open. And I'm going to annoy video editor Adam in the future and try to get a little timer on screen as well to see how long it actually takes. All right, we've got 30 seconds over or under. Put your guesses in the comments. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, add a printer. Empower your printer. We are running Octoprint. To make a secure connection, you'll need to install the plugin. Find the plugin. I already did that. Cool. Once the plugin is installed and the Octoprint has restarted, follow the link in the Octoprint web portal for the last step. All right. Click the button. Enter a name for your printer here. Done. What do you think? I was reading, so could have probably gone a little faster, but that is pretty fast. As we can see here, now I've got two printers listed, Eldritch Blast and Goldmember, which is the Prussia i3 Mark III S Plus shiny edition here. If I click connect on this one, I'll be redirected to the login for that. finish and there it is. How cool. Back on the dashboard for Octo Everywhere, a few options at the bottom allow you to do a few things. If you click on app setup, it just gives you instructions for how to set this up on mobile, which I'll do. I have Octopod installed on my iPhone, so I'll go ahead and set that up as well. It should be really easy. The other few settings that are cool are gadget settings and create a live link. Gadgets is their AI. I don't know how the AI works yet. I have not tested it, but it looks very friendly and cute. Apparently it's able to detect print failures somehow, and I didn't change this at all. There's two settings. How confident should I be? and should I pause the print on a failure? And I just left it as standard and no, do not pause. So we'll see how this ends up working after I start printing some things with it, but it's enabled. And then the other cool option, if you click create a live link, you can give a title, select your printer and click the button here and you'll get a link that you can share with 
whoever and it will share a webcam stream to whoever wants to share it to over the internet kind of a neat feature the last button at the bottom i'll click is the setup printer notifications after you click this you get a bunch of options for how notifications are sent to you email is configured by default but there's a lot of other options here to suit your needs desktop and mobile you can send it to discord slack push bullet whatever you've got going on for your notification situation if you want to tie in some automation with this somehow some other third party thing you could probably do that with custom webhooks i don't know sounds fun finally i'll point out that they've got a few different supporter levels here everything including the free one allows you to connect up to five printers and you get gadgets and all this other stuff here if you pay them a few dollars a month you get these additional ones so you can do unlimited streaming for your webcam upload bigger files and connect more printers pretty much from what i can tell their six levels here of support are pretty much just what you want to call yourself i think the service is worth a few dollars a month though it's a bonus we'll set up octopod as promised settings printers then we're going to push the plus button and octa everywhere is just one of the options that we can put in there now continue i have an account This is the new one. Connect and finish. And then we'll click save. And if we come to the panel here and touch printers, we can select between my two printers. So this is gold member. And there's Eldritch Blast, which I obviously need to get a little light for. That took like another minute to set up. So go ahead and do that if you want to. After years of dealing with IT bullshit, I can tell you that there is very few things that feel better in technology than setting something up and it working the first time how it's supposed to work. Bonus points for it being easy to set up in the first place. So Okta Everywhere, in my opinion, is a really cool plugin that you should check out if you have the need to access your printers remotely. If you found this video useful or entertaining, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, slap the bell, whatever you might want to do to help me quit my day job faster. I spent all of 2022 in retirement, and I would love to go back into retirement to pursue creative endeavors full-time, so do all the stuff.